It is video that angers almost everyone who sees it. A five-year-old little boy sobbing because he's about to be paddled at school. A punishment the boy's mother says she approved so she wouldn't be sent to jail. Naya McInerney has more on a complicated story that has at its center a very scared little boy. Okay. It's the disturbing video everyone is talking about. We're going to do it. A five-year-old boy getting paddled by the school principal for fighting and spitting at a teacher while an assistant principal holds him to keep him still. I'm only going to do it one time. Unless you wiggle around. The Today Show's Natalie Morales was moved to tears. When I was watching this, this in this, my dressing room this morning, I was just appalled crying, upset. And you may be shocked to learn who was standing there recording everything. It was the boy's mom, Shayna Perez. How could you just stand there and watch your child being paddled? I felt like I had no other option. Um, the principal led me to believe that the paddle was the only option. Perez admits that her son has had 18 unexcused absences from school this year, which she says were for medical reasons. She was actually arrested for the little boy's truancy. Oh, You're gonna get a baby. She claims the school threatened to call police and have her arrested again if she did not give them permission to paddle Thomas in the principal's office. He was devastated about the whole situation. He is still so upset about it. Every time I try to walk up to him, he says, don't hit me, don't hit me. Paddling is legal in Georgia where this happened as long as the parent gives their consent and 18 other states permit corporal punishment in schools. But the disturbing video is reigniting an old debate today. Should paddling be used to punish a child this young? <laughs> we showed the video to psychiatrist Gail Salt. There is really no data to say that corporal punishment affects positive change. You take a kid who maybe is already being oppositional and defiant, and now you've taught him that a, another method of coping, as it were, is to hit. And chances are you're going to get a child who's going to hit. Okay, okay.